This place here is truly one of the most incredible places on earth. Oh my god! Oh, it's so cool! This is just honestly as good as it gets. All right, the most incredible things just happened. We've spotted an old shipwreck. I don't know what we're gonna find, but it, oh, I'm just so excited. Look at the majority of it's been broken up and there's scraps everywhere. If there was gonna be any treasure to be around this ballast, it's probably the best spot to look. I've literally traveled a thousand miles. Oh, yes! Look at the size of it! Hey, Brent. Hey, get in the boat, eh? That shark's a bit too curious. Yeah, just that shark like charged in at me, a big silver friend. Safe away from the sharks up here. I bet $50 that the sharks are gonna get. Oh, I think you might have just won, you bet. No, no, no. Still, still GT. Oh, yeah? Still a GT, which is good. Oh, what a day, Fred. What a day. <laughs> this is incredible. Day 91. Day 91 at sea. And this is the oh, best weather we've had. And we're catching GTs, sight fishing over the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, yes. Have a go at the size of it. Oh, this is just honestly as good as it gets. Day 91, let's see. And um, yeah, it's dream conditions. We're sight casting GTs off the top. I'm going to release him. Thanks for the good times, mate. How good is that? Yes. This place here is truly one of the most incredible places on earth. Not just if you're a fisherman, you're going to catch a fish every cast from coral trout, giant trevally. But if you love nature, there's very few places that will rival this around the world. It's absolutely incredible reef and fish life. Um, but the sharks are pretty excited. So every every cast you hook up, the sharks are going to be all over it. So we're going to put the fishing rod down. We're going to jump in with a camera and hopefully um, share with you guys just how special this place is. Absolutely incredible. Let's jump in and have a look.
up it's amazing <laughs> I think we've just had the best snorkel of the entire trip after three months. That is, uh, I'm pretty sure that is almost unbeatable what we just saw there. If someone described that to me, I would I'd say they're lying. If it was like swimming around in a dream, whatever fish species you wanted to look at, say for example, coral trout, you just look around and there's gigantic ones like swimming around on the surface. Maori sea perch, which I love. Normally they hide in caves and are really elusive. Here they're just swimming around in the middle of the water column in the current. There was literally like over a hundred of them on that one edge. It was absolutely mind blowing. Big dog tooth tuna down deep came through, which is just awesome. So we're just on a, such a high after that swim. That was absolutely incredible. Um, doesn't look like the weather's getting any worse, so we're gonna lap it up out here. We're gonna have a bite to eat. We've got leftover mackerel from last night. Um, have a bit of a troll, dry off, and then we'll see where the afternoon takes us. Flying the drone over the shallow reef here, and we've spotted a straight line. And we're like, oh, that looks strange, and something kind of just breaking the surface. And we're like, no way, surely that can't be a wreck. And what it, it, it's got to be, it's this old shipwreck, like old, old, old shipwreck that's wrecked in the middle, and it's got an anchor line out the front and out the back. And you can see these big old school, like Admiralty anchors um, each side that were basically would have been holding the ship upright after it shipwrecked. But we're going to jump in and have a closer look. We'll see if there's any remains at all we can we can find from it or to even try and identify the wreck. When we started this trip, I said to a few mates, I'd love to just find some shipwrecks. I love the old history of it. I've researched and researched and read about um, a lot of the wrecks in this part of the, the part of the country. But um, yeah, we just weren't weren't prepared just to stumble across one today like we have. So uh, it's going to be a bit dodgy anchoring, but we're going to throw an anchor down. And I hope we don't, hopefully we don't end up next to this wreck. <laughs> um, throw a mask on and um, we've sort of got to body surf through the waves to get in there. I don't know what we're gonna find, but it, oh, I'm just so excited. This is absolutely awesome. You ready, friend? I'm ready. All right, let's go. This 
is an incredibly old shipwreck, like incredibly, incredibly old. Oh, all right, that's the third big anchor we've found. Just behind me here, you can see like all the ballast rocks on the bottom. So this is probably like where the ship's hold is, where it's actually sunk and the majority of it's been broken up and there's scraps everywhere. There's a couple of things that look like they may be cannons, which is just epic. But uh, if there was going to be any treasure to be around this like ballast rock here where the majority of the contents have gone down, so anything like coins or any, anything like that that's survived, this is probably the best spot to look. And then the uh, boat has put anchors um, out over the reef where he's trying to pull himself off. Everything on this shipwreck will be protected under the Historical Shipwreck Act. So those things picked up. I just showed Brand. I'm going to put them back where I got them from. Oh, it's so cool. That's been a dream of mine for so long to explore a really old shipwreck, like Pirate's Day shipwreck. Just imagine yourself like back in the day with the cannons and the anchors and oh, so, so crazy. But um, yeah, those poor buggers shipwrecked here, you could just put yourself in their, in their shoes. They would have been in a world of strife, likely would have been a hell of a lot rougher than this. There's all those sharks which you've seen off the drop off, nowhere to go. Oh, it would have been, uh, yeah, it would have been pretty, pretty fatal days for a lot of the crew on board, I imagine. Well, we've got to get a trout for dinner. Most of them are too big. Uh, we'll see if Frank can get one. That's dinner, perfect. Just when you think this adventure can't get any better, you go and have a day like that. That was oh, that was just unreal. Couldn't have couldn't have planned that. If you told me that was going to happen, I wouldn't believe you. It was so so good. The snorkeling, as you guys saw, was incredible. But um, yeah, that shipwreck. Like there was probably one thing missing from this great adventure. We've had awesome diving, speared some awesome fish, caught some awesome fish, but. We just hadn't found a big gnarly shipwreck yet. We'd found a couple of World War II plane wrecks, like stumbled across them, which was incredible. But to, to come across that, that shipwreck like that today, it was a huge ship, very old, I reckon 1800s. A um, couple of massive anchors, that was really, really cool. So we've got a beautiful sunset. We've just made it home right as the sun was setting. So the swim was it, as I was swimming in, the sun was setting, it was epic. And we've got a full moon rising out there.